おはようおはようおはようやっほー And then it echoes よーよーあーさやか久しぶりお邪魔しますおめびお邪魔しますこんにちは日本語できたのさやかです Hi everyone this is さやか from 日本語できた Today in this video you are going to learn how to say Hi or hi in Japanese Uh, Sayaka, isn't it just konnichiwa? If you thought that this video is for you, because konnichiwa is not quite the same as hi in Japanese. And how do we say hi? Well, to be honest, there's no hi in Japanese. So you want to know what to say when you meet someone in different situations. So I'm going to divide this video into seven different topics like situation wise and believe me they could be all translated as hi as subtitles yeah if you want to sound like a native speaker this video is a must watch with that being said let's get this started okay let's start from the very basic phrases in japanese okay the first situation is in the morning in the morning we say ohayou gozaimasu Good morning. Ohayou gozaimasu is a formal way to say good morning. An informal way is ohayou, 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 ohayou. And I've already explained who to use formal speech with, who to use informal speech with in my last video, 10 facts about Japanese language. But I'm gonna quickly explain that again. So formal speech is used when we speak to someone older, stranger, and people of higher status. And informal speech is used to someone younger, friends, and family members. Now back to the phrase. If you read hiragana, there's ohayou. But we never pronounce it like ohayo. It's more like ohayo, ohayo. When o and you are next to each other in this order, it's more like o o. So ohayo. And same for the formal language ohayo gozaimasu, not ohayo gozaimasu. Mm -mm. And notice the actions. When we say ohayo gozaimasu, we don't really wave our hands, we just bow. So practice. Ohayou gozaimasu. Okay. You don't have to go like this. <laughs> Just like ohayou gozaimasu. Just like a nodding type of bow. And then when you say ohayou to your friends or family, you can say oh, ohayou. Oh, ohayou. You know, depending on the situation. If it's home, you will be like ohayou. <laughs> Second situation is during the day. During the day, we say konnichiwa. Hello, good afternoon. Konnichiwa. And as I said, this is not quite the same as hi because you can't really use that in the morning. In the morning, as we just learned, it's ohayou, ohayou gozaimasu. And after around 12 p.m., I would say, there's no specific timeline, but around 12 p.m., PM, you can start saying konnichiwa and until it gets dark outside. Uh, it actually depends on the country because I know it gets dark really late in some other countries but in Japan the sunset is around like 5 to 7 p.m. depending on the season. So around that time we switch from konnichiwa to another phrase that we're gonna learn later on. And if you read hiragana konnichiwa this wa is spelled with hiragana ha, right? This ha is what we call a particle, which is one of many function words we have. And when it's a particle, we pronounce this as wa. And it means as for. And konnichi means today in old Japanese. In modern Japanese, we say kyo. And in the past, people used to agree to each other saying konnichiwa, gokigen ikaga desu ka? As for today, how are you? But gradually, as the language changes, we only kept the first part, konnichiwa, as a greeting. And konnichiwa, we never use this to friends. If I say konnichiwa to my friends, they'll be like, what do you want? You're in a good mood, what happened? 
something like that. So don't use it to your friends. And you might wonder, so what is the informal way to say konnichiwa? There's no. Konnichiwa is just formal and only formal. Okay, let's practice. Konnichiwa. Konnichiwa. Konnich. No. Konnichiwa. <laughs> and third situation is in the evening. We say konbanwa. Good evening. Konbanwa. And again, this is the formal and only formal way. There's no informal way to say good evening in Japanese. So again, we don't really use this to our friends. And also, if you notice the spelling, wa is spelled with hiragana wa. Yes, you guessed right. It's the same reason. This ha is a particle wa. And konban means tonight in Japanese. And we still use konban. So let's practice. Konban wa. Konban wa. Good job. No hand waving. So you've just learned three basic phrases to greet someone. From here, you're gonna sound more like native speakers and you're not gonna learn them from textbooks. Casual ways to say hi, hello to your friends. Okay, fourth situation is meeting your friends. And we say, ah, name, ah, name, just that. Okay, so say I just met Jun. So I would go, ah, Jun. Or, ah, I, if I'm meeting I. Ah, I, it's just ah. And we laugh saying ah before any phrases. We, we could actually add ah before like, ah, ohayou gozaimasu. Or, ah, konnichiwa. Ah, konbanwa. It gives like a surprising nuance to the phrases. We're not really surprised, but it's like a cushion word. You know what I mean? You could also use, yaho, ah, yaho. Yahoo actually used to be a sign word in the mountain. So, Yahoo! And then it echoes. You are letting other people know where you are at in the mountain. But gradually it became a you know, greeting word, I would say. And we go just like, ah, Yahoo! But I would say Yahoo! is used by girls mostly and also used in text. When you start texting someone and you want to say, hey, blah, 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 you say, yaho, and then start other conversation. And okay, so now you're wondering how guys would greet each other, right? Ah, uh, let's wait. <laughs> if you're a guy, you can greet like, oh, yo, us. It's just a sound, but and they are all like yo, yo, <laughs> like same as Japanese yo, oh, us. Okay, next situation is when you meet someone for the first time in a while, we say "Ohisashiburi des," long time no see, or it's been a while. "Ohisashiburi des." This is a formal way, as you could see that I was bowing. And informal way is Hisashiburi Hisashiburi And in English you might go like Oh hey long time no see You have the hey part or maybe you could say hi Before you say long time no see But we just don't have that If we were to say something before Hisashiburi it would be Oh Hisashiburi Or maybe Ah oh, sayaka Hisashiburi so, hisashiburi, when you meet someone for the first time in a while. Okay, next situation, I'm going to rely on the explanation because it's lost in translation. But when we go to someone's house as a guest, there's a specific word we say as hi. Ojamashimasu. As you open the door, ojamashimasu. Ojamashimasu. Or maybe, ojamashimasu. In Japan, there's a sliding door as well. And ojamashimasu. I will try to explain this as much as I can. Okay, jama means obstructions or interruptions. And shimasu means to do. It doesn't really mean I'm going to interrupt you. <laughs> it comes from the feeling like, I know it's bothering for me to come into your house, but forgive me. 
I'm coming in. <laughs> okay. I learned to say this as a polite gesture from my parents. This is a formal speech actually, but I still use this when I visit my friend's house. Ojamashimasu. It's nice to be polite to your friends as well, right? Oh, this is not about Japanese language but a culture. If you are visiting someone's house as a guest, don't forget to bring some gifts. And usually these are snacks. And the go-to gift is snacks or sweets that are of higher quality than convenience stores or supermarket. Uh, so you can get them from somewhere like sweet shop, cake shop in your neighborhood or department stores. Uh, if the owner of the house like uh, alcohol, for example, you could bring a bottle of wine, that will be fine too, uh, or beer, uh, but if you know the person well. Last one is again lost in translation, but Japanese people use this phrase a lot any time of the day, so I'm gonna include this phrase in this video, which is Otsukare, uh, otsukare which is informal, and Otsukaresama desu, otsukaresama desu is formal. Uh, you need to be really careful with this phrase, so I'm gonna try to explain as much as possible. But tsukare means tiredness. And the closest translation would be I would say you've gotta be tired. But it doesn't mean like, oh, you gotta be tired, so please rest or something. It's a word of appreciation and you can show your understanding towards the person Oh, you've worked really hard or you are coming after work, something like that And in like subtitles, it's usually translated as good job, good work But okay, in this video, we are learning how to say hi in Japanese, right? Let me focus on that part of this phrase Hi, otsukare People nowadays are using otsukare as a greeting. And actually, there's a lot of discussion going on about otsukare as a greeting. And there might be an understanding gap by generations. You know, some people just use the word at any time of the day. Even in the morning, they would say oh, otsukare. But others might feel it strange or sometimes feel it kind of like careless. What I mean by careless is, oh, I'm just chilling here today and I'm not tired, but why are you saying otsukare to me? Something like that. It really depends, but many people use it. I personally use otsukare to friends when I know the friend is coming after work or running some errands. But I wouldn't say in the morning because I, if I know that's the first plan of the day for me and them, mm, I would just go, Ohayo, uh, no, I don't bow. Ah, uh, ohayo, or ah, uh, someone, ah, uh, name. So, best advice I could give here would be to observe people around you. You want to start using other phrases to say hi, and then observe what they say as a hi every time you meet them. Okay, that was it for this video. I hope this was helpful and you're gonna sound more like native speakers. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell if you don't want to miss any of my, any of my video. <laughs> I always stutter here. <laughs> okay, so I will see you in the next video. Mata ne! Mite kurete arigatou!